All right, welcome back to another episode of Stitch Method. Today we are going to uh, try to truly understand what a Mixodorian blue scale is. Well, who is this, uh, you know, lesson for? That's the biggest question I was kind of like running through my head. Well, it's for people who um, have heard of the scale, don't know exactly what it is, uh, heard the name and got frightened because of the, the mode names in there, and for people who want to learn how to go beyond just a basic pentatonic. Now, I will tell you in this video, you will learn that this scale works in certain scenarios, but they're very common scenarios, and I'll explain how to use them. So let's dive right into the Mixodorian Blue Scale. It's a giant name, um, but in reality, just to let you know, you know, fact number one, it's not really a scale. It is a combination of scales that lay on top of each other. Hence, you have this Mixo, then Dorian, and Blue Scale. It's the combination of a mixo, Lydian, a Dorian, and a blue scale all squashed together. Don't let that frighten you. I'm going to show you everything. The most important piece of this puzzle, no matter how you cut it, is we need to talk about the base scale, the scale in which this whole entire thing takes place, and that is your minor pentatonic, or pentatonic. Now today, I'm doing a groove in B, and we'll talk about all this, and so the first layer of a Mixodorian blues scale is the minor pentatonic, and this is the truth. So the first part is just, uh, if you look at the notes, or, or the fret number, 7, 10, sorry, we're gonna do that again, because my octave thing was on. Uh, if you look at the notes, 7, 10, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 10, 7, 10. All right, that is your minor B minor pentatonic. For anybody watching who wants to know the notes, it's going to be a B, a D, E, F sharp, and A. All right, those are the notes in the B minor pentatonic. But I'm just thinking about the minor pentatonic. Now, if you're new to Stitch Method, um, watch my channel, but for the fans of Stitch Method, they will know when I say, uh, you know, rule number one of a pentatonic is it never, ever sounds bad, or it always sounds good. And this is the strength uh, that you need to develop when learning the Mixodorian blue scale because it's all going to be compared to this. So the first thing you want to do is uh, load up yourself, pause this video, go on YouTube, and look up a B Mixolydian backing track. I happen to have one right here, and I'm just going to play a B minor pentatonic on top of this. We will talk about why this all makes sense. But what you want to do is you just want to listen to the tasty sounds you can get just from a pentatonic. <laughs> And I was just kind of rocking a pentatonic, basic sound. And I'm just sitting in the form one, having fun. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to explain a couple things here. The minor pentatonic is such a huge tool in rock and roll, jam band, really any sort of music. And you got to know it and know it well. It's only five notes and it's the skeletal structure of really a lot of scales. So now let's look at that name Mixodorian. Okay, well, you have the Mixolydian scale, obviously, we'll talk about that, the Dorian scale, but at the end we have this Mixodorian blue scale. So let's talk about the blue scale. The blue scale is such an easy modification from the pentatonic. We're adding what's called a flat five, all right? And if you watch my blues primer playlist, you know exactly where this is, but if you're new, I'm gonna show you. The intervals of a minor pentatonic are a one, a flat three, a four, a five, and a flat seven. Now the flat five goes right between the four and the five. And so you have one, flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven, one. And if you continue the scale, you get one, flat three, four, and the flat five is right here. Flat five, five, flat seven, one. So now enter the first like name component, the blue scale. And so now we have... Let's listen to what that sounds like. Now, keep in mind, the um, blue note, or the flat five, is a passing tone. And this is why you always want to build things from the pentatonic. Because you can hear, when it's compared to a pentatonic, what sounds good, what sounds like has tension, but the flat five, compared to the pentatonic, wants to move. You don't sit on it. You use it when you go from the four to the five, or the five to the four, uh, and you pass through it, kind of like lava. So here we go. 
Let's see what it sounds like. When I play again the pentatonic, now we're adding the blues component. <laughs> I layered my pentatonic and I put my blue scale on top of it. And you can probably be like, Ian, why didn't, you, why didn't you start with the blue scale? Because really everything is compared to the pentatonic in a Mixodorian blue scale. That's fact number one. You gotta like really learn that. So let's keep going. So you have the pentatonic as your base. I will have a chart for this that explains everything so you can see all of these scales working together and how they make one giant scale of four scales combined. All right, so scale number one, pentatonic. Scale number two, the blue scale. And if you're jamming over a mixolydian backing track, it's going to sound great. We'll talk about that in the future, in this video. The next scale, let's go to the Dorian first. We're working backwards. We have the Mixo Dorian Blues. I showed you where the blues comes from. Let me show you where the Dorian comes from. Now, a Dorian scale is a minor type of scale. And believe it or not, that minor pentatonic makes up five of the seven notes in it. So you kind of already know it. All right. So where the minor pentatonic, now fret-wise, would be seven volume 7 10 7 9 7 9 7 9 7 10 7 10 the dorian scale starting on the same root note would be 7 9 10 i'll explain everything 7 9 6 7 9 6 7 9 7 9 10 7 9 10 so if you really look at what's happening here you have a pentatonic with some extra notes. Let's find those extra notes. The first one is the ninth fret of the, um, the E string. That note was not in the pentatonic, but it's in our Dorian. This is known as a two. Very versatile, really good note. And, and we'll keep going. You have a minor third of the pentatonic. Then you have your four and your five. Now the next note here on the sixth fret of the um, D string this is what makes Dorian Dorian. This is what's called a major sixth, okay? And, and this here is a G sharp. All right, so you have. And then you have the regular notes in the, in the pentatonic. In the pentatonic. So look at the two notes that we added from pentatonic, where the pentatonic would be. Now we have this guy and this guy. All right, you, when you put them in, you get. Now let's keep going. Uh, you have a one, here's your two. This note was not in the pentatonic, and now it's here. It's on the sixth fret of G. This is in the pentatonic. This is in the pentatonic. Don't be fooled by the fingers I'm using. If you look, there it is, but I have to do, do this. This note's in the pentatonic. This guy here is our six. This is a beautiful note. Okay, ninth fret of the B string, pentatonic. And then just like the thick E string, seven, nine, ten. I'll run through the fret numbers again, but all we have here is a minor pentatonic with two extra notes, the, and the first note really is a two, it's a great note, the six, the major six in this note, the, the G sharp here and here, are what makes this thing Dorian. So let's just look at this. Seven, nine, 10, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, seven, nine, 10, seven, nine, 10. If I can play guitar without messing up once, that'd be amazing. All right, so now let's, let me just show you. I'm putting on that blues, the, sorry, the B mixolydian backing track. I'm gonna play my pentatonic first. And I'll tell you, here's my pentatonic. Then I'm gonna put in that blue note. I'm gonna say, here's that blue scale. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies, again, they suck. And then I'm gonna say, well, let's put in some Dorian stuff. Now, you best be believing when I'm thinking Dorian, I'm gonna be putting in that six, I'm gonna be putting in the twos, interval wise. Let's see how it sounds. Pentatonic first. Good. 
Now I'm adding the Dorian, so I'm gonna use my pentatonic, I'm gonna put the flat five in there, and I'm now I'm gonna add those Dorian notes, which again, seventh fret of both E strings, sixth fret of the D and the G, so here we go. scales, the pentatonic, the blue scale, and the Dorian. Now, you're probably like, hmm, okay, yeah, kind of sounds good, whatever. Now, let's work backwards. We had the blues, we had the Dorian, now let's talk about the Mixolydian. The cool news about the Mixolydian, <coughs> and if, again, if you're a fan of the stitch method, you're aware that I don't, I don't think of blues or, or the modes uh, being in the blues songs, um, and I do have a video called Blues Trick Number One, it's going to explain what I'm about to say in a little bit more detail, but I'll do it here as well. All right, so a Mixolydian scale is nothing more than the Dorian scale. It's the same exact scale, except instead of a minor third, we're going to put in a major third. Very, very simple. So now, what does that look like? Well, okay, well, this is a one, this is a two, this is my flat three. That's, that's what makes Dorian minor. So now, the Mixolydian scale, fret-wise, is the same scale without the minor thirds. We gotta raise it, but that sucks if you have short hands. So it's gonna be seven, nine, then six. That's your major third. And so we have seven, nine, six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, six, uh, sorry, <laughs> six, Oh my god, 8, 9, then 7, 9, 10, I'll explain everything, 7, 9, 10. Let me go over it again, again, the chart will do it. The major thirds in this are going to be the 4th fret, sorry, the 6th fret of the um, of the A string, and the 8th fret, that's where I, I choke right there, of the uh, G string. These are the two notes that make it major. So again, the, the Mixolydian scale on B, fret-wise, 7, 9, 6, 7, 9, 6, 7, 9, 6, 8, 9. Seven, nine, ten, seven, nine. Oh my God! It's like how how, how many numbers can I say? But now, I'll, I'll, just in case you're again, you're not a uh, guitar player watching this. It's gonna be the notes. I'm gonna go slowly. The Mixolydian scale is B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and B. Those are the notes. And I probably at this point going like, Oh my God, Ian! Like what the right? And it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. You need to see that the only difference between everything we just did is that this major third and this major third, this is what makes the scale now Mixolydian. We've taken four scales, a minor pentatonic, we put on top of it a blue note. We put on top of that a Dorian scale, which adds a two, a, an interval two and six, and then we put in the major third, which really is just the same thing as Dorian, except we switch the thirds, and now we have this monster scale, and it's called the Mixo Dorian Blues Scale, and it has the major third of the Mixolydian, it has the major sixth of the Dorian, it has the blue note, it has your minor pentatonic, it has everything that you would possibly need, but the thing is you don't want to sit, when you look at the footprint of it, the thing looks like this, look at this monster footprint. <laughs> That's a monster scale. There's no way to manhandle it. There's no way you can sit and go like. It's not going to sound good. You have to realize you have four options when soloing. Pentatonic, blue scale, mixolydian scale, sorry, Dorian scale, or mixolydian scale. And it's four scales laid on top of each other. And it works quite well over a couple of different backing tracks. Now before I show you that, and this is going to be a huge video, all right, let me just play exactly what I did. I'm gonna play a little bit of pentatonic, put the blue note on, in on top of it, that's level two, Dorian, level three, Mixolydian, level four, and I'm bringing that major third for the Mixolydian on top of a B Mixolydian backing track. Pentatonic. Sorry, I changed my angle. Sorry. 
Now some Dorian aspects. video I get it I know <coughs> excuse me so what do we do with this well you want to learn what a pentatonic sounds like you want to just play the pentatonic for a while then you want to add the blue note see what that sounds like capture it in your taste buds then you want to play the Dorian and you want to hear what those special Dorian notes the intervals two and six have to do with uh, combining it on top of the pentatonic and then you want to learn what that major third the mixolydian sounds like so you can call upon those sounds all right listen to the sounds you have you have the pentatonic sound okay i can develop that you can develop that the flat five adding it well I, you know if i sit and play that for enough time i'm going to kind of you know taste what that thing tastes like and then the dorian you're going to get taste buds developed for that six and the two and then for the mixolydian you just add that major third and you will be able to kind of like develop a taste bud for when you need that major third and you call upon those notes and you're going to see it in this grand footprint but you call upon them and so now let me just solo again one more time before i talk about some backing tracks and you can go and throw up from this almost probably i guess 25 minute video all right here we go all right so here's a little solo i'll kind of like call out what i'm thinking what i'm playing here we go pentatonic <laughs> Hang on that minor third, love that sound. We'll mix it in. practice over a groove. There's a lot of ways to manhandle this thing, but this is just about learning it, like learning what it is. So now let's talk about what type of backing tracks you can put this on top of. So obviously you can put this on top of a mixolydian backing track. So, you know, I'm doing this, doing this in B mixolydian, so you can find a B mixolydian backing track, 7th fret, find that minor pentatonic, lay the four scales on top of it. Again, I will have a chart that shows you all of this. It also works on a Dorian backing track. If I put a B Dorian backing track on, you're gonna have the ability to kind of sound really good on top of that. A little fair warning, that major third mixolydian sometimes is not gonna sound right, and the only reason being is because the note that's on top, like the highest note of, of, of what you're playing is what captures the ear. And in the blues, the minor third being on top, rubbing against the major third of the chords, sounds okay. But when you have the major third on top, there's a kind of like a little like, ooh, but you can make it fit and you can try it and don't be afraid of it. You want to listen to it. So you can use this on top of a Dorian backing track or uh, a Mixolydian backing track. Another backing track you can do it on is in a B blues. Now, if you've watched my blues master classes, you know, that's the real way you attack the blues. This is if you want to kind of get into some modern blues playing, a little jazzier feel, a little freer, go put on a B blues and see if you can sneak the scale in there. It's going to work, but you have to listen to what you're doing and call upon um, the notes as you know them. So now, I hope that I didn't confuse things. I hope it made things a little bit better. But the truth is the Mixodorian blues scale is four scales laid on top of each other. You need to learn what each scale sounds like and what each scale has to offer and how to call upon them when you need to. So please share and subscribe and ask the questions below in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them in my next live feed. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Go practice this stuff and develop the taste for calling upon those scales that you too can talk about the greatness of the Mixodorian blues scale. I'm going to go <coughs> take some allergy medicine. <sighs>